We have an email coming in from QCJN. Hey, QCJN. Uh, I've listened. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I've listened to the podcast. Uh, we're invited on. Nice job. Uh, there was the Thank topic you. of Mythbuntu. That is one thing I'd like to have on my computer. I have a WinPVR 150 card. I've installed GBPVR on WinXP that works good, but since I'm going Linux, I'd really like it if you could make a series of and how to <coughs> install Mythbuntu. Don't really know if it can be installed in the Ubuntu 9.10 I already have or have to put it as another operating system in the front end and back end. It's not clear, so he waits your brilliant response. Yeah, QCJN, uh, no problem. What, what you need to understand about uh, talking about Myth, Myth TV, Myth Buntu, uh, Myth Buntu is what we raised on, uh, on the Tech Buzz this, this past Thursday. Uh, when somebody was asking about uh, a Linux distribution that supports basically a media center. Sounds like what you're looking for is what Mythbuntu is based on. Remember during that broadcast I mentioned that Mythbuntu is a, is a culmination between MythTV and Ubuntu. So it's Ubuntu is the base operating system, MythTV is the application that allows it to work as a media center. So because you've already got a working Ubuntu system, you're already halfway there. Now all you need is that MythTV component. So you'll find that in the repositories. If you hop up to System Administration Synaptic Package Manager, enter your password there. Now what you're going to have to do is just do a quick search for Myth TV. Once this loads up here. Now before I do that, I should just say one of the things that you're going to have to make sure of is that you have the proper repositories activated. So I'm going to show you how to do that just in case. We're going to go up to Settings, Repositories. And what we want to do is make sure that you have, I believe it's Universe, Multiverse, probably restricted as well. See how I've got these four all checked off? Out of the box, sometimes your, your Ubuntu Linux distro will just have you know, a couple of these checked off, or maybe just one or two. It'll look something more like that. So if you check all those off, that's going to give you access to these extra repositories that contain additional software that's not out of the box available to uh, Ubuntu users. So uh, quick search, I'm going to type in Myth TV. And now, sort by package is probably the easiest way to do that. That way it's alphabetical because you see there's a ton of things that come up. So if I sort by package, it's going to be easier to find because it's alphabetical. So you see Myth TV here. This, I believe, is a meta package. So this is going to install everything that is required to basically turn your system into a Myth TV system, and into a Myth Boom 2 sort of system. Myth TV implements the following PVR features and more with a unified graphic interface. Basic live TV functionality, uh, video compression, uh, program listing retrieval, themable semi-transparent on-screen display, and so on and so forth. You can read the uh, information there. So all I need to do is just check that off and go mark for installation and that will, as I said, show you all of the required packages. Look at all the packages that are required for this thing. So if you're ready and you want to uh, give it a try, that's kind of where you can go. And uh, I do suggest, now Myth TV can be a little complex to get started on. There is help uh, at Ubuntu forums, so definitely check that out. Uh, but you can try just by installing the, uh, the package just to get started as well. But I'll post a link. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do a quick search uh, after the show, and uh, I'll let you know if there's uh, you know, specific support sites that will, uh, that will give you a hand. Uh, I will post those in the show notes for episode number 121.